Good evening Chemicalites and welcome to another Subnautica guide. So for this one we're going to be looking at getting the battery charger fragments. Now it has been a request, it's been an ongoing request quite some time now um, and a lot of people requesting it. So your wishes, my command. Now in terms of where do we want to go, where do we want to start from, as always giant coal tubes we want to start from here which is the center of the map it's at zero coordinates of the game if you like um, now there's another set there and we want to be starting from here not those ones which is the ones closest to the aurora now for those new players as you may not be aware the as you can see the life pod is over there my life pod now you may spawn there you may spawn there, you may spawn there, and you may spawn there, you may spawn there. And it goes on and on and on. So there may be 600 meters difference in distance. So by starting here, it's going to allow me to give you the precise direction and distance. Okay, so back to it. Right, okay, so we're going to be going south and we're going to be going 570 meters. Uh, you can do this in the sea glider, it's no issue. I'm going to be doing it in the sea moth, just purely for speed. Um, what you're going to need for this is the high capacity tank, as you're going to be going around about 100 meters deep. And you are going to need, oh, that's it actually. <laughs> you're, not, you're not even going to need a laser cutter. Typically, you would do, but I'm going to show you a little way around it. Uh, the other one thing I would recommend is a torch. Torch is always, always handy to have in wreckages. There's a lot of areas I've, I've sort of commented or fed back on comments where I can't find that particular fragment. They're looking in the right wreckage and it's purely because it's that bloody dark. Um, and it does. I mean, this wreckage isn't too bad, but I always recommend having that torch. It's surprising what you can see. Okay, so we're here now, um, and we want to be going directly above it, and you will see a vent or an opening that we can go down. So if we go down, and there we go, guys. Get the torch out, and scan around this area. Now, there's one. There's your first. Any more? Do check all corners. There you go. Always hiding. There's two. There's three. Okay, so in that time, three fragments, and I'm gonna take you to the next location. So there's a slight vent here behind us. Typically you would cut through there with a laser cutter. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go through the vent which gets you on the other side. That's four. That's five. Okay, so now fragments do spawn uh, sporadically. They're not always um, guaranteed. So if you've not had the luck, you may have had zero or none, then I'm gonna take you the to the second location. Uh, be with you in two guys. Okay guys, so we're now back at the starting point. Please do make sure you start from here. The giant coral tubes near the Aurora sticking out of the safe shallows. And for this one, we're gonna be going west and we're gonna be going 600 meters to the location at a depth of 100 meters. Uh, we're gonna be doing this in the seam off. Now, you don't necessarily need to do it in the seam off. You can do it in the sea glider, but it is recommended to do so, just purely oxygen. Now, in terms of fauna, you're gonna find sand sharks, which sort of dig under the sand and then whip up at you. The damage is pretty minimal, in all honesty. Oxygen, this part of the game is really key. Um, so what you're gonna need for this, the high capacity tank, without a doubt, and you're gonna need a torch. Um, now, beneficial is to have the rebreather. Highly beneficial is to have a second high capacity tank. That's right, a second. Um, and I'm gonna explain why in a second. So, 
going west we're going to reach this wreckage here and it is one of the largest wreckages in the game certainly in this biome anyway um, and we're going to venture through do make sure you equip the torch straight away because you're going to miss a whole lot of stuff if you don't there's our first okay venture through top to bottom every corner and up again so again every corner and then we're going to go down this these stairs the angles get a little bit tricky again every corner and they're always hiding away these fragments so you've you know they never spawn in one location and you've got to be real on the ball with it so providing you've gone around to this level down these this stairs here what you'll see then which you typically wouldn't see which i've missed many a time is this vent here and you want to go through and you want to turn right up left and through and then you're into a whole different room as i mentioned i've missed this room many a times over um so find what fragments you can get here there's another fragment second fragment again check down here it's surprising what you do find all else fails check down this way passing 100 meters oxygen efficiency decreased fragments around this location and then the second way is to go through the down here down keep going and now you're into another room again so as i mentioned before oxygen nine seconds going we're going to simply swap that oxygen tank for the second one that we had there's third one fourth one and i think we've pretty much done that so what we're going to do now is we've now got to get out of this place and this is what you're going to really determine watching this video can you do it can you not um you've got to be quick doing it that way even with two tanks but there will be a way out and i've gone the bloody wrong way and done it wrong governor so go out 30 seconds to go gonna do it oh it's gonna do it there's another fragment keep going out He did it that was tense so you can see sort of the danger in that um now obviously try and get what fragments you can do from the first location the second location um don't try and delve too far now there are upgrades for the tanks if you've got the ultra high capacity tank try and make two of those uh and that's it guys so i hope you like the video pretty tense but yeah hope you like the video ciao for now bye bye